Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, I'm going to give you overview of Always On Availability Group Dashboard. In this demo, we'll be learning how to access Availability Group Dashboard, how to find out the health status of that particular availability group or availability groups. Uh, number three, how many replicas are added in the availability group that you're looking at. Uh, number four, how to add remove columns in the dashboard. Number five, brief introduction of each column. So here's my server right here. I'm connected uh, using SQL Server. Uh, availability group listener and uh, primary replica right here so um, in order to fire up availability group dashboard you need to find always on availability group tab right here uh, right click on that tab and click on show dashboard and this dashboard should show you if you have multiple availability groups it should show you all the availability groups if you basically connected with the primary replica and that that replica has more than one availability group it'll show you all of them so uh, the availability group that you're interested in you can go ahead and click on um, that particular uh, availability group in my case it's sales order underscore ag so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that there are a few things that um, uh, we will go over right now. Uh, one is that first availability group state right here is healthy. You do need to check that if it's unhealthy, if um, any uh, replica is disconnected or data loss and all that uh, uh, mandatory stuff in availability group. If that is not healthy, you will see the availability group uh, state would be unhealthy. That wouldn't be healthy. So uh, looking at the right side up here, uh, you can start a failover wizard right here. You can, uh, uh, this failover wizard will help you to failover your availability group from primary to secondary replica. So uh, you can also click on view always on health events. If uh, there are uh, some unhealthy things happen in your availability group, then you can click on view always on health event and take a look. Uh, number uh, up here, the view cluster quorum information, since availability group uh, requires Windows uh, failover cluster you can also take a look on the quorum information from availability group uh, dashboard up here the number of replicas as uh, I mentioned in my sheet that um, in this particular availability group these replicas are um, part of this availability group and you can see that which replica is uh, primary which replica is secondary as you can see that in my case New York SQL cluster, New York SQL prod is secondary, and uh, TBS SQL cluster, SQL prod is right here, it's uh, uh, primary. And my failover mode is manual. I don't have automatic failover, but if you do have automatic failover, then it'll show you right here. Synchronization uh, right here, a state is synchronizing and synchronized. Basically, the primary is always synchronized, and secondary replicas are always in synchroniza synchronizing state and uh, issues if there are issues it should show in this column um, let's go ahead and take a look on the replicas right here you can click on the, these replicas and no more detail uh, up here is showing right here the failover readiness that if you uh, fail over from your primary replica to the secondary replica there would be a chance of data loss right here so um, let me show you the next thing that how to add and remove columns um, in uh, dashboard. So if you click right click uh, up here in the column section of uh, availability replica, you will see that these are the columns that's available. Right now, these are uh, the columns that basically are selected and they are showing up here, but um, uh, primary connection mode, secondary connection mode, these columns you can add any time that you want to. If you wanted to remove a column, you can click on here and it's removed. Only thing is that you have to do one by one. So uh, I'm gonna go, go ahead and give you uh, some information about this. Primary connection mode, if you click on that, you will see that uh, it is allow connection. This is the connecting to the primary um, uh, allow all connections. If, um, you're, if you do not have uh, allow connection enabled, it'll show you that connection uh, allow con all connections is disabled and nobody uh, will be able to connect using primary connection mode. So let's go ahead and click on um, connection state. Uh, connected connected if any of your replica in availability group is down it will tell you that it's not connected and um, it will be a red sign right here right now it's a green check bar but it will be red sign right here so this is basically how you um, uh, add and remove different 
columns right here this is a great information if you wanted to add certain columns and take a look on a certain columns detail you can add and remove from here so let's go ahead and <clears throat> take a look on in this column section a name replica synchronization state if you right click on this column section you will get a lot more uh, detail uh, so this is related to the replica of this particular availability group so uh, suspended suspended reason if you wanted to know if um, the uh, synchronization uh, status up here state is suspended then you can click on uh, suspended reason and it'll tell you that why it is it is suspended so um, next thing is up here estimated recovery time um, it will tell you in seconds estimated data loss time um, it'll tell you in second synchronization performance if synchronization is happening at that moment this is pretty um, slick right here synchronization performance it'll tell you in seconds that uh, if uh, the data flow is going between uh, primary and secondary um, in availability group it'll tell you that uh, the latency is one second two second three second you can create a report out of their synchronization performance to show the performance of your availability group and logs and queue if uh, your logs uh, since uh, it's a combination basically of um, replication and mirroring if um, log sending log is in queue and they're not uh, restored and there are a uh, lot of logs in the queue then it'll tell you that uh, how many logs are in the queue so that way you know that uh, um, you know what you might want to find that why the logs are in queue and uh, uh, this is the transaction right here um, last send transaction uh, this is a transaction log so right here you can take a look this is a great information so you can uh, basically add all the columns and it'll show you right here uh, let me go ahead and right here let's go ahead and add a couple column right now the log send rate is 28,000 uh, KB per second right here so if you have a um, you know if you wanted to give report that um, um, how uh, how good your network is behaving you can take a look from here 28,000 per second this, this is uh, the log rate so um, it's pretty good right now uh, everything is healthy let me see that um, if you click on any of the replica you can uh, click on the detail of that particular replica basically up here uh, it'll tell you that uh, this replica is secondary manual failover this is the same thing that we looked at the main report but you can if you right click on that you will have the same um, columns up here that you can go ahead and um, uh, take a look on different information from here so over here same thing if you right click and you will get all the detail right here so this is uh, uh this dashboard is very very handy um, i would encourage every dba to use uh, uh, this dashboard uh, this is a uh, really a quick way to get some useful information uh, from sql server about the availability group and i hope this video helps